well, back to the into today's video. Do the five day forecast today and have a detailed look at weather for the next five days. We're in a slightly more unsettled phase over the next day or so, but it is going to be settling down again as we go into the weekend with high pressure building in. That high pressure could become really dominant as we go through into uh, next week. So, uh, very brief sort of unsettled phase, but really high pressure is in command for the foreseeable future. Now, before I go on with the video, just want to make sure we advertise the green keyword ads on my page. Is it right to so over green keywords, basically, ads when you click free word? Go to advertise website, you support gaswebbits.com by doing that. So, this is the radar picture from 8 o'clock this morning. We had a uh, band of really quite heavy rain uh, lying through central parts of the country. That's pushed on eastwards and it is getting lighter now across uh, north easting down in towards. Um, Lincolnshire still one or two heavier bursts mixed in but really it's uh, dying out it's weather front but sort of coming to a standstill and it's dying a bit of a death we've got these showery bits and pieces of rain following in uh, to the west that's really going to be the way of it through the rest of the uh, day we've got the high pressure over to the east country this is the stock depression chart from the GFS model which uh, you are seeing from the website weather uh, wetcentral.d um, the high pressure is sitting to the east the low pressure is out to the west we're bringing up this southerly flow across the country it is mild but we've got a weather front within that it's got to the east and saying it's dying out so the rain in the east is going to tend to fizzle out through the course of the afternoon um, I'm going to keep a lot of cloud across the country low clouds the misty damp drizzly type conditions uh, some brighter breaks coming through but always more likely in the south then we've got the showery rain which will get heavier again around western coast I think through the course of the afternoon Temperature's quite warm uh, between around 13 and, say, uh, 19 degrees, but lower where we keep below cloud. Now, overnight, we're going to have another weather front coming into the west. That's going to be bringing more heavy rain into Scotland, Northern Ireland, perhaps getting through the Irish Sea in towards northwestern parts of North Wales by the end of the night as well. Many central eastern parts of the country staying largely dry. The eastern parts are... Uh, tightening so I think winds are picking up in the second half of the night it's going to become quite breezy maybe quite windy out in the west but it's going to be a really mild night tonight with temperatures no lower than around 10 to say 16 degrees 16 is 61 Fahrenheit it's more like the maximum temperature that you would expect at the start of October as we move into what uh, Thursday well again these low pressure systems and weather fronts are trying to come in from the west but they're coming up against this high pressure uh, to the east so I think again the idea is that we're going to have quite a bit of rain in the north and the west very hard to pin the detail down on it actually but quite a lot of rain for Scotland Ireland Wales southwestern England could bring some heavier rain through in towards southern uh, England, maybe the Midlands as well in the afternoon. But I think the best of the driest, brightest weather uh, tomorrow will be in the east. So, Lincolnshire, uh, East Anglia, South East England, that's probably where you get away uh, with a lot of dry weather through the course of Thursday, with some uh, limited bright or sunny spell, but generally quite a lot of cloud and rain around the Thursday. Temperatures in any sunshine could get up to around 20, maybe 21 degrees, that's 70 Fahrenheit, but generally nearer 17 or 18 in the cloud and the rain, still above average for the time of year. Now the trough is elongating over the country as we move through into Friday. Uh, we take weather front out to the west, so the persistent rain uh, out to the east, rather, the persistent rain clears into the North Sea. But I think we're left with a legacy of quite a lot of showers on uh, Friday. One or two of those could be quite heavy, but there will be drier, brighter slots in between. Uh, temperatures may be just edging down a little bit, but still pretty good at around 12 to say 19 degrees. And then as we move through into Saturday, the uh, unsettled weather is over. The high pressure is bridging back in off the Atlantic as the trough is pushed off into Scandinavia. So we're looking at a dry day, almost universally dry on Saturday with good sunny spells. Temperatures will be a few degrees down, I think, despite the fact that it's a brighter, drier day. Uh, we'll be seeing temperature maximum between around 11 and, say, 17. 17 is around 63 Fahrenheit. On Saturday night, it could get quite chilly uh, with some fairly widespread mist or fog patches possible. High pressure becoming dominant as we move through to Sunday. So away from the far north, northwest of Scotland, where a weather front could bring some cloud and outbreaks of patchy rain. It's basically dry and fine with sunny spells. We've got to watch out for low cloud being trapped underneath this high pressure is an autumn high uh, so always the risk of low cloud 
I'm also at the risk of mist and fog patches early and late, but otherwise a lot of dry weather. Temperatures in the best of the sunshine probably up to around 18 or 19 degrees. And that's how we move into next week with the high pressure well and truly in control of the pattern. So northern and western Scotland maybe a little cloud patchy rain, but bulk of the country dry uh, with sunny spells. Again, the risk of mist and fog which could be quite dense early and late. Also, there is a chance that there could be low cloud trapped underneath the high pressure, but some may not be strong enough to burn that low cloud off because it's an autumn high rather than a summer high pressure. But nevertheless, high pressure is dominant, so it's mainly dry and fine. Warm as well in many sunshine temperatures could get up to 19 or 20 degrees. I look at the charts from the Weather Outlook, and well, there's the showers in the northeast uh, today, but it is turning drier, or the showery rain, I should say, in the northeast today, getting lighter through the course of the afternoon. It's turning drier uh, from the south and west, but west there as will have some showers scattered around. Through the course of the Thursday, we're looking at uh, rain coming in across the country, but it's very difficult to pin it down. I think it's more likely in the northwest, though this is showing it in the south and the southeast. But I think really it's the north and the west that get the worst of the rain on. Thursday, gradually extending these was through the course of the day. Showers really for Friday. Uh, I think the longer spells of rain will clear off into the east overnight Thursday into Friday. Friday itself a showery day. And then from Saturday onwards, the high pressure is taking over, so almost completely dry on Saturday. Temperatures do edge down a few degrees, um, but it's mainly dry with sunny spells. And that's how we go into Sunday and into Monday as well. High pressure in complete control, uh, so it's dry and fine. This is showing a lot of sunshine, but we will be running the risk, as we always do with autumn high pressure systems, of mist and fog patches, also of low cloud. But uh, if we're lucky, uh, we'll have a lot of sunshine. And it's going to be very warm under this high pressure as well, with temperatures still getting up to uh, the upper teens, maybe just into the low 20s Celsius. So in summary, we've got an unsettled day or two coming up with some showers or long spells of rain. Uh, but from Saturday onwards, it's dry, high pressure building in, so it becomes dry, fine, very settled, uh, and still quite warm. That's it for now. Thanks for watching.